Welcome everyone. In this video, we'll, uh, we will find the derivative of tangent of x with respect to x. So our goal is find the derivative of tangent of x with respect to x. How can we do this? Well, we first of all write that tangent of x is equal to sine of x divided by cosine of x. This can be also written as sine of x times 1 over cosine of x. And I want to, I, I want to show this uh, 1 over cosine of x as... Uh, I want to show it in exponent form. So I will write sine of x and I will write cosine of x and raise it to the negative first power. Simple enough, right? Now what we do is we take the derivative of both sides, of course with respect to x, so that we have what we are trying to find which is the tangent of x, dx on one side, and we have we have sine of x times cosine of x raised to the negative first power on the right side. If you take a look at the right side of our equation, you notice that we have the derivative of a product. And there's actually a specific way that we can find the derivative of a product which is called the product rule the product rule tells us that if we have two functions fx and f of x and g of x and we multiply these and we take their derivatives then this is equal to f of x times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. Okay, so we will use this general rule. Uh, if you would like, I can prove this uh, rule in another video. But for now, we will just assume this to be true. And we will continue. So... What I do is I write the first function as it is, which is sine of x, times the derivative of our second function. Actually, let me write it in a different color. We have our plus here, and we have the second function, you write it, times the derivative of the first function. This is equal to, we still have sine of x. And now we will use the chain rule to find the derivative that is in blue. And the chain rule tells us that instead of taking the derivative of cosine of x raised to the negative first power with respect to x first take it uh, take its take its derivative with respect to cosine of x then multiply it with the derivative of cosine of x with respect to x and that translates as follows oops i made a mistake there all right, there we go. Cosine of x times the derivative of cosine of x with respect to x. We put a plus, we still have the, the I mean the cosine of x raised to the negative first power. And what is the part in blue? The derivative of sine of x with respect to x. As you might know, in a previous video, we showed that this is equal to cosine of x. If you haven't watched that video, please go ahead and do so. And okay, let's continue. We still have sine of x. 
times. Hmm. What about this part? You might realize that this is actually in the form, in the form where we have, let's say, we have x raised to the power of n, and we take its derivative. This is, of course, equal to we bring bring the exponent ahead, and we decrease the exponent by one. This is also a rule in calculus, which we can prove as well if you want in another video so we will use this formula this is as you might know used to find derivatives of polynomials so when we do that we bring the negative one forward then we multiply it with cosine of x raised to the negative two power negative second power times what is the derivative of cosine of x with respect to x? In the same video that we found the derivative of sine of x, we also found that the derivative of cosine of x with respect to x is equal to negative sine of x. Plus, this product will give us 1, right? because we are multiplying cosine of x with its reciprocal, which by definition should give us 1. And it does give us 1. Now, I will switch to a new page, but before that, we realize that uh, these negatives cancel each other and they become plus. And now we are ready to go. And of course, we have a 1 here, but it doesn't really matter because 1 times anything is still equal to anything, right? 1 doesn't change the value if we are multiplying with 1. So, well, I meant, let's continue. So, we have the tangent of x with respect to dx. This is equal to sine of x. Well, let's take a step further. We see that we have sine of x here and here. If we multiply them, we get sine squared of x. So I write it as like that. And we still have cosine of x raised to the negative second power plus 1. This is also equal to sine of x times 1 over cosine squared of x plus 1. If we take a look at the first term, we see that sine of x, uh, sine squared of x divided by cosine squared of x is equal to tangent squared of x. Of course, we have our plus 1. And this is equal to, this is one of uh, our trig identities, this is equal to secant squared of x. And this transition here, like, I mean, the fact that tangent squared of x plus 1 is equal to secant squared of x, as I said, this is an identity. This directly comes from the Pythagorean uh, trig identity, which simply says sine of x plus cosine of x squared is equal to 1. So this directly comes from this, directly comes from this, okay? So you might you maybe can try to uh, find how we arrive at uh, this one, and of course if you want we can I can also do a video about this, but I'm sure you can figure it out yourself. So well actually we're done. <laughs> we show that the derivative of tangent of x with respect to x is equal to secant squared of x. This is it for this video. I hope that you found this helpful and enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or suggestions, please do not hesitate to write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.